Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario 2. In the last part, we got all the way up here to Hotel's room, I guess. Even though it's completely empty. I guess we're just gonna wait for the dragon or something, so let's just go in and wait for it. Well, that was quick. Who dares approach me? It's a motherfucking dragon, yeah! I love dragons, even though this one looks kind of odd being made out of paper, but hey, it's a dragon nonetheless. Hmm, so you are friends of the strange carved one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? Sort of. But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the buttons and feast not like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is saute you and crispy, to your crispy and goodness and gobble you down head first. Yeah. This guy is all about eating. Which is the reason why he has his weakness. Or as it turns out, it's actually her, but I'll get into that when we get to the end of the game, because that's not when we that's when we find out it's actually her. Somehow we're supposed to find out to her earlier. I don't know. Snack time, little appetizers! But which one of you marshals should I taste first? How about neither of us? Because I'm going to hit you with my hammer, and I'm going to make you stick to your freaking stomach. Because of this. Riddick! That awful sound! It sounds like a cricket! How did you know? Stop this resistance! I got really bad oh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them! <coughs> oh, fight it, Oki. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Yeah, I get the same feeling whenever I think about catfish. Because, as it turns out, I'm catfish intolerant, and I really can't eat catfish or else it'll make me sick to my stomach and make me puke. And... Well, that's too much information. Anyway, we're. There we go, saying anyway again. I'm just going to keep hitting this guy's foot. Oh! Must not my poor tummy. Huh? So very woozy. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna keep hitting you and hitting you until we do nothing but dead. I could have come up with a good cab back. Oh, oh. I think this thing is stronger if you don't use the. Well, no, it will be stronger. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I know that the defense is higher if you don't use its weakness, but I think it's attack mind also go up too, but I can't really remember. Which means that this fight is actually a lot harder than our first one with the Koop Koopa Brothers. If you remember that, I actually beat those guys in about four or five turns or so. This guy is going to take a lot longer than that, because this guy actually has a defense that you need to actually use weakness on, of course, and actually has more than four HP. Or 4 HP. And I think we're gonna go ahead and use Sweet Tree because it looks like we might be needing it right now. So let's. Whoa! That was close. Didn't want to hit that, that poison mushroom. Let's see. Get hearts already. Heart, 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 heart. You know, now that I think about it, I haven't. I actually saw Captain Planet. Matt, speaking of part of me. I actually saw something funny on Captain Loving Captain Planet, where it's like this uh, episode where these ki the kids were like being told how we treat mistreat animals and such. Half of them had no good excuse. I mean, the animals—they kept saying like stuff like, "Can you use pesticide, pesticide to kill butterflies?" Well, if we don't use pesticides, what do you think is going to happen to our crops? And there's like other stuff too that I could mention, but if you want to be able to get it unless it actually showed you the stuff that I was talking about. So I'm just going to shut up about that and oh, wait, pull up a minute. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah, to prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? I can't even hold that much, so no. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that! It's one of a kind, and it's rare, it's up for a limited time only. Will you take it? I don't really need badges. Because you know me, my endurance strategy. Uh, really? 
I suppose I could apologize for letting you smell the bombs on my feet. Uh, people pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now, really. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? Yeah, I agree with Mario. That's just disgusting, among other things. You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone you know. I guess I'm better. What are you doing? The fourth wall is not safe! Holy crap, the fourth wall is not safe. That's just not right. Oh, oh no, my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Okay. Now we're gonna actually start using our jumps, because if we start using our jumps, we actually start saving everybody. Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear cricket? Yeah, if you jump on them, it'll right, jump on her or him, whatever. It'll actually cause the toes to be released and stuff. Which is good if you're kind of heroic top like I am. So we just keep jumping on him, and I think that's all of them. Alright, we saved all of the little toads. Good. And I think when he does this, he only has 10 HP, so that means you're really close to beating him. So, here we go. You should be dead. Aha, I was right. But I, I... Oh, why, there's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. And somehow... Hey, I never noticed that clock up there before. 30 star points, yay. How did we flip a dragon? Oh well. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. I don't know if she's supposed to be dead or knocked out, but she disappears later, so I guess dead. Oh hey, it's Koopa. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it it can't be. Eh, Dad. Hey, how's it going? Hey, your your groups. Hey, Seven, you've got so you've gotten so big since I last saw you. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my fishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside a hotel's belly. And boy, was a nasty yuck. And somehow I survived the uh, gastric gases, but I won't get into that. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we were all? For ten long years, we all thought you'd... You know, we thought your game was over. Ah, clever way of avoiding death there. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I'm here to—I came here to defeat Hotel, who's been wreaking havoc in town. Miss Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're looking, what you're talking about, would it? Well, yes, yeah, so it. That is exactly what we're looking for. What's that? I found it down here in the Hotel's Valley. Nice, huh? Kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Croup's friend. Or Coops, actually. I can't believe I've been saying Croup's and not Coops this whole time. Oh well. Please take it. Oh, yeah. And we now have a shiny Pentagon Square. No crystal star. Why am I thinking? <laughs> you learned the special move, Earth Tremor. It's a very good attack. I recommend it. Of course I recommend it. It's supposed to be a good attack. And end of chapter! Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Coops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Hey, I thought we were trying to avoid the word death here. Oh well. Yet, yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? 
Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Indeed it has. And we're at 10 minutes, and I'm going to continue anyway, because there's some extra stuff that comes up at the end of each chapter. Just like in the last game, we also follow Peach, but in this game, we also follow the second person. Who is it? You'll see it in just a second. After these short messages from our sponsor, Mario.